Hello everyone. Welcome to new video off Whiteout Survival. Today I have come with a new guide video for you. It is time to be whale again. Because today's topic is farm account. This video is the sixth part of the series. How to be a free to play whale. You can check the previous parts, link in the comment. Let's jump in the video. What is farm account? Whiteout survival allows you to create two accounts in each server. The second account in your server is called farm account. It is also called war account, spy account, defense account, loot account, or vanguard account. Today I will tell five use of farm account. Let's check them one by one. Before using farm account, we have to know how to create it. Don't worry, you don't need a second email to create second account. From one email, you can create two account in one server. To create a farm account, click the profile picture on top left corner. Now go to settings. Click on characters. Here you can create a new account in your same server. You can see, I have already created an account in this server. To create new account, you have to click on create new character. Here the list of servers comes. You have to select your server and create new account. This is also used to create your account in any other servers. But you cannot create more than two account in same server. As I have already made two accounts in my server. I cannot create more account here. Select any server and click confirm your account will be created. This is how you have to create your farm account. When you create any new account, you have to play from beginning. But don't worry, within one week, you will come in a good position. Now let's check the use of farm account. 1. Resource loot. It is very hard to collect resources as a free-to-play player. You can see, I am running low on resources. But a farm account can make you free-to-play whale. How to do this? You have to attack your farm account using your main account. You can see, to a parade furnace or any building, normal gathering is not always sufficient. You need millions of resources. So, you have to collect resources to your farm account. And by attacking that, you have to bring resources to main account. So, you are suggested to upgrade your resource buildings first in farm account. This is how you can get double resources for a single account. Now let's check the procedure of attacking. You have to add your farm account to some different alliance. If your farm account is in same alliance, you will not be able to attack. Next thing, you have to teleport your farm account to a place which is near of your main account. So minimum time will be needed to attack. As you can see, my farm account is very close to my main account. Now you have to prepare for attack. Before attacking, switch to your farm account and evacuate your farm account. So during battle, both your farm and main account will face minimum damage. Also, you have to check how much resource are secured in farm account. If all resources are secured, you will get nothing. There is a way to change your secured resources to non-secured resources. Click on upgrade on any building. After that, cancel that upgrade. Do this process with different buildings. Click upgrade and cancel upgrade. This is how secured resources will be changed to non-secured resources. Next thing is open your bag and use all of your resources which are rather as a pack. So, all resources from your bag will be changed to non-secured resources. But I suggest you to stay in a boundary. Don't use your all resources from bag. You can see, now I have enough non-secured resources. Next thing is change your barricade heroes. If you keep any strong hero in barricade, you may face damage when attacking. So keep weak heroes in Rampart as barricade defender. Next thing is evacuate your city. If you keep troops, you will face damage in main account. So put your troops outside city by clicking occupy and encamping the place. 
Now you are totally ready to attack. Switch back to main account and get ready for attack. You are suggested to use your most powerful troops. So in single attack you can get huge amount of resources. Okay, I am attacking. You can see all regiments are coming. Remember, with your attack, your farm account will start burning. Don't forget to extinguish the fire. Otherwise your farm account will be teleported somewhere. You can see I am attacking right now. Let's check what resources I got. See, I got millions of resources. One single attack gave me this high amount of resources. So you are suggested to attack your farm account. One time in four days. Because your farm account needs some time. To generate all these resources. And you can see there is no loss of troops. Because all troops were evacuated. This is the resource before attack. After all troops return to city. You will see number of resources are increased. Troops have returned to city. You can see resources have been increased. This is how you have to use your farm account for resource. Let's check the next use. 2. Hide resource. This is exactly opposite method of previous one. Suppose, enemy is attacking your city. You have no protection left if you fight. You will lose for sure, and you have lots of non-secured resources. What you should do in this situation? You should just do the reverse of previous method. That means you have to use your farm account to attack your main account. Remember, random teleporter cannot be used when someone is attacking you. So transfer your all resources to farm account and use random teleporter on your farm account. Your farm account will be randomly teleported somewhere and stay hidden. Take back your resources from farm account when you are out of danger. Let's check the next use. 3. Event Performance If Crazy Joe is attacking you and you have none to defend, you can use your farm account to defend yourself, but both accounts should be in same alliance to do this. If you want a high score in Brothers in Arms, you can destroy your farm account troops, but to do this, both accounts should be in different alliance. Let's check next method. 4. Reinforcement. This is similar with number 2, but reverse. During SVS, many opponents invade your server and burn small players. You have to send your troops to farm account, and you have to activate your anti-scout in farm account. Opponent will think your farm account is a small player. If they attack your farm account, they will face huge loose, because you have your troops hidden there. To do this, both accounts should be in same alliance. Let's go to next method. 5. Scout or Vanguard. Vanguard means someone who leads the troops. If your enemy is attacking or war is going on, you need to scout your opponent. But if your opponent has anti-scout, it is not possible. So in this situation, you have to attack that opponent using your farm account. You may win or lose but you will get idea about opponent troops. These are the five ways about the use of your farm account. Remember, when you are using your farm account, you should not use the word farm after the name. My name is Shield, but I should not use the word farm and I should not use the name Shield Farm. Always keep your farm account hidden and give it some other name which is not similar with main account. Never let anyone know it is you. If you want to check previous parts of the series, watch them. Link given in pinned comment. That is all for this video. To watch more, subscribe.